What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel for another episode of this Pentagon Challenge. We are flying at the top of the Bundesliga with Hertha Berlin. Yes, I know you're saying, Steve, you spent 300 million. Of course you're doing well. It is to be expected, isn't it? Today we take on Schalke in Bundesliga action, the first team to actually defeat us this season. We have had a couple more defeats since then. And uh, But things are still going well. We have a nice little comfortable lead at the top of the Bundesliga. Can we extend that as we take on Schalke today? It's first versus third. It's the big one. Let's get into it. So then, guys, you were last with me for the loss to Bayern Munich away from home. We kind of learned a little bit of a lesson there about ourselves. Um, and since then, we've been pretty good, um, getting good results, stringing a couple months together again, and that November, December and January all unbeaten, doing very, very well, extending that lead. The December Christmas break was fantastic, allowed my squad to really, really recover. I definitely needed it after a lot of games, a lot of high intensity games. We started January pretty well, absolutely nailed Hoffenheim 6-1, beat Hanover, drew with Dusseldorf and beat Union Berlin in the German Cup in a bit of a Berlin derby. Um, it's always nice to get one over on your local rivals. We go through into the quarterfinal stage where we will take on Mines. Um, looking forward to that one. Obviously, we need to advance at least to the semi-finals of the German Cup. How has Schalke knocked out Bayern? Let's go, Schalke. Um, this gives us a very good opportunity to win the German Cup. Um, as you can tell by my ecstatic result uh response to that um things have been going pretty well as i mentioned uh we don't have any european competitions to worry about this year but it may get game heavy towards the end of the season with the with the differences between games actually becoming shorter and shorter as we move forward i think the dortmund one will be a good one but we'll never know we'll see what happens in terms of the cup um bundesliga we are top after 21 games we've won 17 of those we've drawn one and we have lost those three games that i did mention um it's it's a very interesting situation we're doing very well actually we're scoring a lot of goals 52 goals scored it's the most in the league uh, 18 goals conceded as well it's pretty good not the best in the league only two uh, two teams are better than us in terms of keeping the ball out of the back of the net and that is Bayern Munich and RB Leipzig who obviously did turn us down um, in the summer before we got the Hertha Berlin job uh, but things are going very well, as I said, at the top. We're currently seven points clear of Bayern Munich, but that could all change today with the game against Schalke. Um, another thing I need to touch on, Nils Bro is the bee's knees. This guy is absolutely exceptional. I cannot say how good he is. He's just a goal machine. He has 24 starts for us this season in all competitions, and he's got 27 goals and three assists. His average rating in all competitions is 7.53. He's just an absolute monster. 10 goals in 10 caps for Denmark. Just an absolute monster. Absolutely loving him at the top of the line. In terms of a little bit of a transfer update, not really much to talk to you about um, in terms of the transfers. We have let a couple players go that were unhappy at the club. Um, Matthew Luton has gone to Dortmund for 28 and a half mil. And we've let a couple others go out on loan and a couple others that are sold that you won't be able to see because they're kind of behind my head. We've kind of let them go. They were upset at the club. Um, we didn't want to have them just hanging around and just ruining our club dynamic. Um, so we let them go. It turns out we've only spent 51 million, which... I'm actually really happy with spending 50 million, getting a team that is doing the business, doing what we are doing at the top of the Bundesliga is absolutely fantastic. And obviously keeping things into consideration, our minimum agreed transfer budget for next season is just under 60 million as well. So we need to kind of keep track on everything and keep that money going into the club so that hopefully we can get another big transfer kitty next season to take things to the next level. So without any further ado, let's get into today's gameplay against Schalke. We have already lost to Schalke um, earlier on in the season. They were the first team to actually beat us. Um, Fingers crossed we can actually get a result against them back at home. As I said, we have lost three games so far this season, all away from home. Um, so that is going to be a very interesting thing to see if we can uh, see if we can overturn some of these losses, especially the ones against Schalke and Bayern Munich. Um, I'm not actually too worried about the one against Werder Bremen because I think we will overturn that one at home. In terms of the team and the team selection, Edson is in goal. Um, I can never remember this dude's... Uh, 
Nugzar is it right back gross holland is there because we have a suspension to matumbo um mario zaf is actually our starting left back i thought he was going to be a central midfielder he's played very well at left back uh chata will play alongside a uh, in the central midfield spot for robel or and lopez complete the three behind the main man bro up top um, as you can see, these partnerships are starting to work nicely um, and we are developing some good, good friendships on the pitch. So we will submit that team. Jack Holland is slightly uh, not match fit, but that's not the end of the world. Obviously, Matumbo is suspended. Jan Sommer is the manager of Schalke, obviously the former Swiss goalkeeper. They do have Koa as well. Uh, Marcos Antonio, they've got some good players here. Um, and obviously they are up into third in the Bundesliga. I'm going to tell the boys to go out and put on a worthy display. Obviously, that is the team that you have just seen, our starting 11. Let's take a look at theirs, see what Jan Sommer is doing. Um, oh, that Marcos Antonio is not the one that I thought it was. So it's just Koa that we know in this team from former games in this series. Obviously, we had him at Guarani FC and we had him at Santos on loan as well from Arsenal. We owe Schalke. Can we get the business done? They are in the, the green, the green, green, blue. We are in the blue and white stripes. They're advancing down this left-hand side, though. Chatter's putting the pressure on. It goes in a bit heavy there. They've still, and Schalke's still got the ball. The ball comes across. Oh, and that uh, fires that one just wide of our goalkeeper's near post. I keep wanting to call our goalkeeper Edison. Edson. He's not Edison. Edison has probably retired now in this game, in this simulation. Um, but despite him being Brazilian, I think they're very, very similar. Um, Schalke actually coming and playing a very high line against us, which is interesting considering how good Bro is, especially on the counter with his pace. And this is what we're trying to do now. Gets the ball into him. He holds it up very nicely. He's got a lot of players to go round. Goes round one into the penalty area. Can he cross? He does. And that has gone into the Schalke goal. The goalkeeper, Gustavo Sanabria, has palmed that into his own goal. He, he makes a lot of this himself, though. Goes past two players. Goes past the left back as well. Inside the penalty area. Takes into a tight angle. And the goalkeeper's just done awful there, hasn't he? Pushing that one into his own goal. Chance for Schalke to immediately hit back, though. Antonio over the free kick into Koa. Can we tackle him? Out to Dada. They hit the post. Looks like he's blown for offside. Dada is offside. And we are in the lead without actually having a shot on target. Who'd have thought that, guys? Um, Zaf is looking like he's taking a knock and um, Mario Zaf is a very key player for us so we will make that change at left back we will bring on Faith Sari to take that spot at left back throw in for us then it looks like we're going to look for the short option and there it is into chatter out to the right back. He's got acres of space here. Can he deliver? Chatter. Ball comes in. Oh, Rasevich uh, drills it low, but just wide of the goal on that occasion. We're getting slightly better. It feels like we're building into the game despite leading through that own goal. Robel picks up a book in, which is a little bit of a worry as we are a, a little bit light on wingers at the moment. Cross comes over. And that is a great save from Edson. Very, very good save from the young Brazilian there. Pushing the ball behind for a corner. It's still just before half time. Last, last knock-ins. And Edson come and claims that. And that will be half time. And there it is. Um, relatively even in terms of the XG match story, as you can see here. We are in the lead, but Schalke kind of um kind of kind of doing the business. Um, they've got more possession as well. Interesting. Edson is the highest rating so far. It's 7.2. And I'm actually going to say I'm happy with how the team are playing. Sometimes it's nice to give them a little confidence boost. If it goes wrong, then it's bad management. If it goes right, then I'm a good manager, right? It's all how the team responds to how you speak to them. Um, and it feels to me like they are doing pretty well. I'm finding this lineup from Schalke really difficult to break down. 
the four center back, uh, four defenders with the two DMs in front of it is actually really difficult to break down. Um, their striker though, Marcus Antonio, really not having a good time down at a 6.4. We're just going to see what happens with this highlight before potentially making a change of our own. Sarri wins that one into Lopez, other line to Bro. He's got the pace and the agility to rinse this guy. Does, goes around him, no problem. Bro forces the goalkeeper into a save this time, doesn't palm it into his own goal. 15 minutes to go. Can we get something off of this corner? Lopez to take out swing into the far post. And they get that one clear. Morazovic gets there into Holland, who's a centre-back. We control the possession, get the free kick. Lopez, delivery. Oh, bro, gets his head. His header even saved by the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper's kind of redeeming himself now. Lopez on the corner, right-footed in swinger. Towards that near post and they get the they get the ball clear. Fabio's gonna be able to break here, is he? Yes, he is. Down the right hand side, takes it around our left back. He's still bursting down that side. We recover nicely though, and what a block that is. From a central midfielder to actually make that effort and get over there and do the business is absolutely fantastic. We'll make a sub at right back. As you can see, we are definitely growing into this game. We were the better team over the course of the 90 minutes, despite the goal coming as an own goal. I assume they're going to start pushing forward. Chatter into Bro then. Back to Chatter. Out to the right-hand side then. This guy's got loads of pace as well. Gets round one. Looks for the pass to Chatter. Gets his pass blocked. Very end-to-end -end this game. Molas. That's a good pass into Antonio. Into the other defender. Into the penalty area. <sighs> this is why I should sometimes tighten things up. Um, Pitando. Uh, no, pin, pin, Pintado Pintado with the equaliser there for Schalke. I thought this dude was going to be the one who scored it. Antonio with a great run. Our defender, Holland, who's not our starting choice defender, misses the challenge. It goes to 1-1. One, one. I'm not actually disappointed by it, but it looks like we got to have a chance in injury time here to maybe snatch something. Ball out to the right-hand side. Weisner is on instead of the Frenchman at right back. The cross comes over, and Gordon Razovic, the man on loan from PSG, comes in 94th minute. The final whistle probably should have gone, in all honesty, but we do not give up with this team. The dynamic is too strong. We get another win. Nice cross into the penalty area, gets across his man, beats the goalkeeper to it, rams it in at the near post. And that is a very valuable three points for Schalke there. The own goal and the goal in the 95th minute. Schalke can definitely feel hard done by. I'm going to say that is a little bit of a let off, but it seems to have motivated the players, which is good. That is the main thing. As things stand, Bayern Munich to play the day after. 10 points behind after that amount of games. I think it's 22 for us. Yeah, 22 games for us. And Bayern Munich will play RB Leipzig. So second versus fourth in the game after um the next day so things are going very well very very well so in terms of the schedule and where i will bring you guys back i think it's going to be for the game at home against dortmund obviously one of the powerhouses in germany despite not having a good season this year we'll bring you back for the dortmund game unless things get spicy in the cup and maybe we get a good team in the cup and then i'll bring you back for the cup game instead but that's where I'm going to leave things for today, guys. If you have enjoyed this episode of the Pentagon Challenge, please do leave a like on it down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And ring that bell so you're told every time that we upload a video of this series. But until next time, guys, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you on another one very, very soon.